Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I've got some amazing international makeup products that I shopped from Canada. I did not visit there, but my brother's friend was. So I asked them if they could run the errands and get these makeup products for me. And they were so, so sweet and kind to take out some time and get me all of these makeup products. Nikhil and Unnati, if you're watching, a huge thanks and shout out to you both. They have a beautiful collection of saris and some unstitched suit materials. In case you want to check out, I'll leave the links in the description box. And also my friend Pramila was traveling to Dubai. Buy. so she called me and asked me if I want some makeup products from there you also got me just two products which Nikhil kind of missed to buy because they were not available there or were not in stock thank you Pramila that you went to Sephora just to get these two items just for me means a lot anyway all the products that Nikhil got me were from Canada I've put them in this Nika Lux box and here is all the bill um, a bunch of interest and exciting drugstore items. I believe Shoppers Drug Mart is very popular in Canada to buy drugstore items. So that is where I got my drugstore products from. I got just two items from Sephora Canada as well. So there are a lot of drugstore makeup products that went viral on the internet and broke the internet and also some exciting high-end makeup as well which also went viral and also i'm wearing most of these products on my face right now and i'm loving the makeup look today so without wasting any more time let's begin so let's start with complexion products i have a couple of complexion products to share with you all the first one is a super super viral product you guys must have seen this all over the internet so i'm talking about the cover girl simply ageless skin perfecter essence it's the viral chanel foundation dupe tiny little beads in it with a serum formulation i believe it's such an interesting product that it just broke the internet i got this in the shade 60 tan which is such a perfect match for me so you all know how this stuff works you can either use your fingers or a makeup brush to use it on your skin i did both today and both ways it blended pretty well i would say that fingers gave me a better coverage and the brush gave me a bit of an even finish but application wise i like it both ways so the beads in here just literally break up as and when you rub the foundation into your skin and that is just so satisfying to use and see i think that's what grabbed most people's attention when it comes to this particular foundation they've not really marketed it as a foundation i believe it's more of a skin tint because the coverage is super super sheer it's almost close to nothing sort of a coverage it gives that no makeup makeup kind of a finish with the bare minimum coverage so it's that kind of a product it looks extremely natural gives your skin a beautiful hydrating glowy finish which i loved initially the product feels quite watery and serumy when you rub it on the skin and after a while it kind of thickens and that's when the coverage starts to show up in my opinion yeah i really wanted to give this a try and i'm so glad i got my hands on it i'm not really sure about the longevity i'll have to test it and let you guys know so yeah so the next product that i got is one of my favorites already because i have this particular product with me in a different shade so i'm talking about the l'oreal infallible 24 hour full cover concealer and i got this in a dark shade these beautiful mocha chocolatey shades are not available in india and that is such a shame because i absolutely love this concealer on my extremely oily skin type it's so long wearing extreme high coverage blends beautifully on the skin literally feels like a high-end product it's so good and i fail to understand why l'oreal hasn't launched more shades in this particular concealer range because come on it's 2024 and you still give us like two or three shades that's not done l'oreal if you're watching you need to launch the deeper shades they are so beautiful they will be so useful for us brown girls and girls with deeper complexions so i got this in the shade so i got this in the shade 415 honey that's how the packaging looks like you all know you guys have seen this concealer in india as well but the shade is so gorgeous look at it it's such 
a perfect perfect correcting plus concealer kind of a shade on my skin tone with the cover girl foundation i could not get much of a coverage on my pigmented areas and this is the concealer that i used to um, correct and conceal all of those areas out and it did such a fantastic job in doing so you just need the tiniest dot of this concealer and it just covers up everything now that i have this shade with me i'm gonna use it quite a bit just on its own without any foundation and it's gonna do a great job in concealing the hyperpigmentation on my skin and i know that it's so long wearing so i'm gonna get a lot of use out of this concealer so that's the reason i got this in a deeper shade and i also got a very recent and viral concealer so this is the NYX Pro Fix Stick Concealer and that's how it looks like very nice packaging I would say it's like a click up crayon kind of a concealer you've got a clear cap and inside you've got the concealer so you can twist it up twist it down sorry it's not a click up sorry i like this is not a click up it's a twist up twist down kind of a packaging as you can see so i got this in the shade so i've got this in the shade 11 cinnamon i'm yet to use it so i cannot really give you my first impressions on it but looking at the concealer shade it looks like a slightly lighter shade of concealer on my skin tone i think this can be used for highlighting and brightening up my skin tone or the under eye so this is a super super viral viral concealer people love it for being so creamy and so easy and blendable and thin on the skin i would use it super soon and let you guys know how i feel about this product okay so i happened to try this nyx um what is it called pro fix stick concealer today in the shade cinnamon as you can see it's a different day different makeup look this is what i have to conceal and slightly brighten my under eyes and for that it works pretty well but i don't think the shade would be ideal for my spot correction and around my hyperpigmentation but it's done a pretty good job even without a color corrector it's looking pretty fresh and gave me a nice bright under eye without looking too artificial or anything and the formula is super thin even though this is a creamy formulation i love how comfortable and lightweight it feels on the under eye area i definitely have to set it with the powder because i have an extremely oily skin type and my eyelids are super super oily so yeah that's that if it gets launched in india i would definitely pick up a deeper shade as well i thought this would be deep enough to cover up my pigmentation and all but it's a slightly ever so slightly probably half a shade lighter to my skin tone but it works pretty amazingly well for around the eye area like i mentioned so not gonna complain and i'm gonna keep using it for sure it's a great concealer then i have two super popular and viral liquid blushes with me so let's talk about the drugstore one first so this is the elf camo liquid concealer i already got the elf camo liquid concealer in the shade suave mo from my previous international haul probably about four months ago but this time i got a deeper shade and this is the shade bronzed bombshell which is such a bombshell shade for my brown skin tone as you can see it's a beautiful terracotta brown kind of a blush color and it looks so gorgeous on my skin tone previously i got the shade suave mauve through my sister when she was traveling to the us and that's a beautiful everyday rosy mauve shade but this one is so pigmented and so potent on my skin tone that i need just the tiniest bit of it i just dotted two dots on my cheeks and it gave me so much of pigment and i felt like i could have done with much lesser product it's that intense and the shade is to die for if you have brown complexions this is the blush i'm wearing on this cheek and as you can see it's so beautiful i've not topped it with any other powder blushes or anything it just looks like i'm blushing from within because it's a liquid formulation liquid blush formulas generally does that they just give you a nice blushed from within kind of a look this is the kind of bronzer that you would use for bronzing bronzing has been becoming quite popular recently where a blush gives you the effect of bronzer and blush in one it's called bronzing by the way and this 
particular shade bronze bombshell does exactly that it's so creamy so easy to blend on the skin i absolutely love these liquid blushes i see that elf has launched these blushes in india and they are already out of stock but the shade option is super limited i believe they have launched only five shades and this particular shade is not available so in a way i'm glad that i got this but also disappointed in elf india that they did not launch all the shades then i also got a very very well loved brow product and this is from maybelline this has been going super popular on the internet once again pretty recently this is the this is the maybelline build a brow brow definer it's basically like a felt tip sketch brow definer as you can see it gives the most thinnest of strokes on your eyebrows literally mimics a hair strand this is what i have on my brows right now oh and by the way this is in the shade this is the shade 260 deep brown which is such a perfect perfect brow color for my brows as you can see it's so good it's such a brilliant color match for my brows and the effect that this brow definer gives is so natural it also has this brow setter on the other end so you after you define your brows you can set it in place using this brow gel which also did a pretty fantastic job in just sealing and locking my brow hair in place and i totally get it i totally get the hype around this brow product it's so good maybelline please what are you doing you have some amazing products launched abroad so please bring these to india as well people will absolutely love it i have a bunch of lip products to share with you all from the drugstore category since we are talking about maybelline let's show a maybelline product here so this is the maybelline super save vinyl ink liquid lipstick and this is in the shade fearless this is a beautiful chocolatey brown glossy transfer proof lip product now this particular line of lipsticks is, is already available in india but they also have super limited shade options. I'm seeing that Maybelline is slowly increasing the shade range and adding more shades to their existing range, which is good. So I'm suspecting that maybe in the near future, this shade may get launched. And if it gets launched, it will be so amazing for us brown girls because this range definitely lacks deeper shade options especially the nude and neutral ones for us brown girls i recently did a full dedicated video for these vinyl ink liquid lipsticks from maybelline i included this lip color in the swatches as well and it's such a beautiful molten chocolate brown color the next product that i have is again from covergirl this is also a viral product so that's the reason i wanted to get this so this is the covergirl outlast lip stain and that's how the packaging looks like it's all color coded and so pretty the color itself is so beautiful i'll talk about it in a second so that's how the lip stain looks like literally looks like a coloring sketch pen isn't it and i've got this in the shade 45 brazen raisin which is such a beautiful beautiful shade let me swatch it here it's so beautiful it's like a plummy brownie kind of a lip stain works perfectly as a lip liner on my lips i this is what i use to line my lips today and it's so pretty just the perfect kind of liner kind of a lip stain for my lips from whatever i've seen on the internet i've seen that when you apply this product all over the lips it gets a bit patchy and uneven so it is best if you use it to line your lips rather than filling in the entire lips and that's exactly what i did today and yes once it is set look at that it is transfer proof and smudge proof it just doesn't budge it's so good it's literally like a tattoo on your lips i'm amazed by this product i love it next i've got two nyx lip products with me again both were super viral and popular on instagram and youtube and wherever the first product that i have is the nyx fat oil slick click shiny lip balm and that's how cool the packaging looks like so it's a click up pen so when you open it there is a clicker on the bottom of these lip pens and you just click it and the product comes out on the top as you can see 
and this is what I have as a lip combo with the um, Covergirl Outlast lip stain. And by the way, this is in the shade 11 in a mode, which is so beautiful, pretty lip color for my skin tone. And the lip combo is looking absolutely gorgeous against my skin tone. This one has a very yummy, pleasant scent. So basically, this is like a lip oil in a stick formulation as you can see it's giving a glossy shiny finish on the lips while hydrating the lips as well and it feels quite light and comfortable on the lips not very sticky like some other oils which is nice the pigment i would say is not super opaque it's kind of a moderate pigmentation which i also like for these kind of shiny glossy products in my opinion the next product that i have is a plumping product from nyx this is their duck plump lip gloss so that's how the packaging looks like it's a big and thick kind of a lip gloss container and this is how the wand looks like it kind of looks like the new Huda Beauty lip gloss wand very similar to that I got this in the shade mauve out my way which is like a pretty pale mauvey pink kind of a shade I did use it on my lips on top of this lip combo today but I removed it and let this lip combo be because this is looking much prettier than what my lips were looking with this gloss on top but saying that when I use this gloss on top of my lips I did feel a strong tingly sensation this definitely plumped up my lips the tingling sensation generally plumps up your lips and this is exactly what it does and this is a thick kind of a gloss it's not at all light it is super super thick the pigmentation is also pretty high it's not sheer at all i've seen people saying that this is extremely painful kind of a lip plumper but i feel like this is slightly lesser painful version of the maybelline lifter lip plumpers that i got from the us so so I got to try the NYX Duck Plump uh, Lip Plumper properly today. That day I wore it along with the other um, Click Up pen from NYX. And today I'm wearing it on its own except for the lip liner. And let me tell you, it's a strong, strong lip plumper. To an extent that this plumper is already getting into my throat as well. That's how spicy and plumpy it is it's super intense so if you do not like lip plumpers stay away from this it definitely works as you can see it has just doubled up the size of my lips which is insane it's doing its job pretty well of plumping your lips but I also dislike the fact that it's super thick it's almost like a goopy texture when I do this you can see the stringiness of this lip gloss slash lip plumper which I do not like and also I see that the application is pretty uneven on the lips so yeah that's that but the patchiness does get better after say five minutes or so and oh by the way this takes a little while to work on your lips as soon as you apply it it doesn't get plumpy or the tingling sensation doesn't start once it's on for five minutes that's when you'll feel the tingliness it's super intense and by the time your lips would have been doubled up in size so it's a crazy lip plumper for sure okay the next bunch of items are all from sephora sephora canada as well as sephora dubai so let's see what i got there are not a lot just a couple of items so the other liquid blush that i told you that i got alongside the elf camo liquid blush is this rare beauty soft pinch liquid blush i know rare beauty is available in india but still in other countries the rare beauty pricing is much lesser than what we get in india so that's the reason i got this product I actually wanted the new powder uh, glowy shimmery blush that they launched but by mistake i think they got the liquid blush but, but i'm not complaining i don't have the liquid blush from rare beauty i also wanted to try this for a long long time and this is in the shade loves so that's how the rare beauty soft matte liquid blush in the shade love looks like by the way this is the matte variant they also have a dewy variant in this liquid blusher and this is how it looks like this is the blush i have on this side of my cheek and as you can tell both the blushes look just the same the elf camo liquid blush in the shade bronze bombshell is a literal dupe for the rare beauty liquid blush in love they look just the same on my cheeks probably the elf one has a bit more glowiness to it but otherwise shade wise 
they are just the same shades on the cheeks you guys must have seen this liquid blush all over the internet it's super rich and pigmented you just need the tiniest bit of it it's a bit of a thicker formulation than the elf camo liquid blush very slightly thick it's not a super thick formula pretty easy to blend and is pigment packed so you just need the tiniest bit of it and it goes a long long way still i'm the powdered version of the rare beauty glowy blushes i will definitely get it in the near future for sure but as of now i'm really loving the love shade from the liquid blush then i got a fairly new launch from milk makeup so this is their hydro grip setting spray in a mini version that holographic packaging it looks so pretty so that's how the actual setting spray bottle looks like this one has 50 ml of product which is still a great amount bluish kind of a um, setting spray you have to activate the product really well and apply it on the skin you know what i've not really used this setting spray or any setting spray for my makeup look today so let's spray it on one side of my face so as you can see i just sprayed the tiniest bit of the setting spray on this side and it's already looking super glowy and hydrated and juicy versus this side this this side looks more matte when compared to this side right this is more healthy juicy hydrating and all of that i've already used this setting spray a couple of times and this setting spray is so good it just gives your skin that healthy glowy dewy kind of a finish without any shimmer particles in it that's so good you can not only use this as a setting spray but as a primer or in between your makeup to make your makeup super gripping and adhering on the skin so far i really like this product so i got two more products from sephora dubai through my friend pramila so the first one is the fenty beauty invising matte powder so this is basically like a blotting powder and that's how it looks like very interesting kind of a packaging it's not like a even shape you see that very different kind of a packaging when you lay it on the table like so won't be even and leveled up it's got a bit of a lift on the top and when you open it you've got the product inside so that's the applicator and here is the powder and it also has a mirror here which is nice now i've not used this product yet so i cannot really tell you how i feel about it you guys may ask why i got this from dubai and not from nike that's because nike has a, nike has this cross border thing for fenty beauty which to be very honest i dislike just launch it in india like how rare beauty did right that would be so much more easier than uploading your kyc getting it authorized from nike and then buying your products is by the way your billing address should match your kyc address um if you're buying fenty beauty from nike which is such a bummer so yeah that's the reason i got this from dubai i've heard some amazing amazing stuff about this blotting powder especially for oily skin type so i'm really excited to try this one okay the final product that i got is an extremely viral product this literally just killed and broke the internet so i'm talking about the milk makeup blush stick so this is called their cooling water jelly tint that's how the outer packaging looks like super super bright and chic and that's how tiny the actual product is i was actually expecting it to be a bit more bigger but it's so cute and tiny and this is in the shade splash and when you open it you've got this safety lid sort of a thing and inside you've got the blusher right here which looks so tempting and so jelly like i literally feel like eating it so good doesn't really smell of jellies but literally looks like a jelly in a stick formula now i'm also yet to try this product out because i want to create a dedicated shorts or reels for this particular product so watch out for that 
Splash is one of the deeper shades that is available in this particular blush range. They have about four shades, I believe. And this is a deep, beautiful berry shade, which I'm sure would look lovely against my skin tone. And I guess this is a very popular shade as well. So that's about it. Those are all the items that I got from this international haul. A lot of viral makeup products and a lot of popular items. Unfortunately, I cannot link these products because they are not available anywhere in India. But I really hope that these get launched super soon in India. And I, and I wish you guys can try it out and see it for yourself as well. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and found it useful and helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up, comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Also follow me on my Instagram. I'll put the link in the description box. This is a take care of yourselves and I shall see you guys soon in my next one. Bye.